Amherst Guitars, and The Rock Slide by Songhurst Guitars. My name is Mike Frederick, um, good buddy at Danny's. We used to play together a lot. We used to be roommates, good guy, good guitar player, and uh, makes good guitars, good slides, and he does make good uh, food too. So, anyways. Um, a couple years ago, Danny sent me one of these normal brass rock slides, and I sort of, you know, just kept it in my case for a while, not being much of a slide player myself. Um, when I finally did get around to getting it out of the packaging and messing around with it, I just kind of fell in love with it. It's, it sounds great. It's very, you know, heavy uh, and dense, so it gets a nice thick sound. Um, it's very comfortable, and it just heads above the, uh, the competition, and we all know who we're talking about. Um, but, uh, yeah, it sounds so good and so comfortable that I've just been f having so much fun with it, I've been forcing myself to play uh, a lot of solos with different bands, uh, forcing myself to play some slide. Um, one of those solos is on a song called Dot Tribe by Mrs. Scanato, and I'm just going to do a, a playthrough of that, and then I'll sort of break down a couple of the licks, and uh, hopefully you'll get a good impression of the rock slide from that. vocabulary, not being a slide player. Really, before I got a rock slide, I, uh, you know, didn't have the cool, bluesy, you know, open tunings, uh, slide vocabulary that a lot of the diehard slide guys are, uh, all over. So, uh, basically what I did on this solo, which, uh, really has just two parts, the, uh, riff that's in, uh, 7-4, it's just kind of an E, bluesy E riff. Um, and then a little uh, interlude, a couple strums of a F major 7 flat 5 chord. So I just kind of, being a jazz guy, I uh, kind of just tried to navigate that uh, maybe with some vocabulary that's not really associated with the slide too often. So uh, I start off just going up an F major 7 uh, flat 5, F major 9 flat 5. Arpeggio. Um, sort of just arpeggiating chords with some little slide nuance in there. Then when I get up to that note, I just kind of go into uh, basically a sequence where I uh, sort of fall off the high notes. Um, which, uh, you know, you can't really get the same effect with uh, bends or even a whammy bar. So uh, I just really like kind of taking advantage of that for the first time and really in my playing. <laughs> sort of the build-up to when the riff kicks back in. When I get up to this high note, it's back in sort of blues territory, kind of thinking about Pink Floyd, uh, that song about uh, one of these days I'm going to tear you up into little pieces. Um, so I'm sort of really hamming it up on those uh, kind of slide things. 
and then I just sort of outline the E riff. Um, making sure to really ha also ham it up. You gotta ham it up, okay? It's a slide. Uh, really hamming it up on this uh, major fifth, or a uh, perfect fifth. Slide up. Making the whammy pedal guys jealous. Um, and then I sort of stumbled across a little uh, lick that I could do with the slide that's uh, one of the only fast things that I can do on the slide, but it's uh, basically just an E pentatonic lick where you're sliding up the uh, B string. Uh, you're hitting a note on the E and then doing a slide on the, on the B string. And it's just a sequence, really. So, uh, fast, up to speed, it's... slow it's and then I really got to scream the kind of the the uh, climax of the solo is is sliding from the B up to the D sort of the fifth up to that flat seven and I kind of give it a shake it's kind of almost like a trumpet shake gotta have a lot of attitude in it territory. And then one other thing I wanted to see if I could do, which uh, I'm still working on, but uh, here it is. It's basically incorporating some open string stuff with uh, slide. And uh, this is just a lick that I incorporated a couple of open strings in, but uh, I found it to be a slightly cleaner in terms of uh, pitch. Uh, way to go about this. So I don't have to go, uh, there's a lot of, uh, you know, I wanted to minimize that, keep it as clean as possible while still getting the, uh, some of the juicy slides in there, um, even though it's fast. And, uh, it's kind of a, it has good days and bad, but slow, this is kind of a lick. So instead of, it's a, basically this lick. But instead of. There's a lot of potential for out of tune notes in that, like if you play it that way, but. Uh, There's uh, potential for a lot of noise in the way I play it, but I kind of find that adds a little bit to the grittiness. And then, uh, yeah, that's basically the end of the song. So, from a guy that never played slide before uh, with any kind of regularity um, and faked it, and I'm still kind of faking it, but I'm faking it to make it this time. But I'm doing it because the rock slide sounds really good and it's really comfortable and I wholeheartedly endorse it. Um, so Mike Frederick endorsing the rock slide. So go ahead and get one, order one online, or you'll find it in pretty much any any uh, music store nowadays. They're really doing a good job, really spreading the good word. And if you want one of Danny's guitars, you're going to have to get mine but uh, I'm sure you'll be happy to make one for you. Anyways, we'll see you later, Internet. <laughs>